In today's video, I am here to share with you every single fragrance that I wore over the past week. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha from simplyaisha.com. Here on YouTube, I talk about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So if you've never seen one of these videos from me, they are very chill, thus my daughter in the background, thus no makeup. <laughs> But basically, I come on every single time that I'm wearing a fragrance during a week and let you guys know a little bit about the fragrance and why I chose it for that particular day. And I do these vlog style, so I do them on my phone and I just do it when I'm spraying my fragrance. At the end of the video, I let you guys know my three standout fragrances for the week and that can be standouts for good reasons or for bad reasons. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this week's fragrances. Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. So we are starting this video out on Friday. I know that's not typical of me, but I wanted to post this on a Friday. So I'm starting on a Friday. Anyway, happy Friday. Getting ready to go work out and drop my kids at summer camp. So today, or for right now, I'm wearing Coconut Fizz by Guerlain. This is part of the Aqua Allegoria line. Unfortunately, this has been discontinued, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It smells like fresh, clean coconut water. It smells amazing y'all so refreshing and i don't wear it as much as i should just because i have too many fragrances but i absolutely love it and i knew i wanted something fresh and clean today but i didn't want to go for my normal <laughs> citrus that i would spray on so yeah i went for this and i am loving it so far so this is what i'm wearing for now hey y'all it's still friday i'm showered and dressed for the day so for my fragrance i started out by applying this ginger souffle whip body cream from origins this is a beautiful ginger scent that's a little bit sweet but also has that spiciness it just smells amazing so i started out by applying this and then my fragrance for today is Passe Soir by BDK. This is a quince fragrance that is fruity, it's spicy, it has some ginger in here as well. And I am just smelling so good right now, y'all. I don't wear this enough, I love it, but I just have too many fragrances. <laughs> and um, yeah, I haven't worn this in a little bit. I mean, I feel it's like it's only been like a month, but for some reason it's like really doing its thing today. I guess the combination with the ginger souffle, I am loving this right now. So yeah, I went for this, um, just because it kind of popped into my head when I was driving back home. And uh, I will be going to get some lunch soon with my husband, not like anything big, but I figured this would be a nice time to go ahead and wear this. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. I am getting ready to go out. I will be outside. Um, and then we're gonna go get some lunch. So the fragrance I'm wearing today is Lolita Limpica Green Lover. I haven't worn this in quite a while, but it is a fragrance that smells like a green gin type scent. So it kind of smells boozy when you first spray it. And then the vanilla really starts to come in, but it's not a heavy vanilla. It's still like an aromatic vanilla. Um, it is interesting, but it's one that I really like and it's great for hot weather. Hey y'all, it's Saturday night. I'm just hanging out at home tonight. But I wanted to smell good. So I started out by applying this Boom Boom Body for Maze Oil. I don't need to keep telling you how this smells. Just if you don't have this by now, what are you doing? Okay. So I started out by applying this. And then my fragrance for the night is from Mesa Mataha. This is Escapade Gourmand. This is a beautiful, warm, caramel vanilla scent. It smells so delicious and so warm, but it's not overpowering. It's it's amazing, y'all. It gives me kind of creme brulee vibes. Um, kind of has that toasted smell that creme brulee has. But yeah, I love this. So I am smelling quite delicious tonight. And this is what I am wearing. Good morning, y'all. Happy Sunday. I know usually on Sundays I'm like, hey, I'm getting ready to go to church. But not today. Um, we actually have house guests and they're still asleep. So I'm getting ready to go on a walk. So I decided to spray on for this part of the day. Neroli Portofino by Tom Ford. This is an aromatic citrus fragrance that has some aquatic notes to it. It's quite uplifting. And I don't I have this tiny bottle. I don't have that much left. I think I have a little less than half left. So I am trying to use this bottle up this summer. So yeah, I decided to go for this today and I am really enjoying it as of right now. 
Hey y'all, it's still Sunday. Now I am showered and dressed for the day. I started out by applying this coconut milk body lotion. This is by the, the brand Quail Nera. I got this from TJ Maxx. I see these there all the time, but if I can link it, I definitely will. It just smells like a light coconut milk. This is not too heavily scented, but I do find it to be moisturizing even though it's a lightweight lotion. So I um, start out by applying this. And then my fragrance for the day is Mugler Alien Goddess. This is the original, so this one is more of a coconut scent. So when I smell this, I get like coconut or tiare flower, um, probably some jasmine, but it's not, it doesn't have that typical alien jasmine DNA, which is what I like about it. I'm not the biggest fan of alien. Uh, I will say that if you want the typical alien jasmine, go for the intense over this one. Anyway, this is not a review, y'all. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this one is coconut, floral, and a slight bit of sweet saltiness, um, like a, a sweet salty vanilla, but I love it. It's beautiful. It's very refreshing, not overpowering, does not smell like sunscreen. And I picked this today because I just wanted to wear something light. I don't really know what I'm doing today, um, but I knew I didn't really want anything heavy. So yeah, this is what I am wearing for today. Hey y'all, it's Sunday night and tonight I'm wearing Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme. This is a shampoo-y kind of raspberry scent. It's very airy and lightweight, but I love it. Um, so yeah, I chose to wear this tonight because I really didn't know what I wanted to wear, but I know I wanted something kind of more clean smelling. So I just, my eye landed on this one. So that's why I picked it. Hey y'all, happy Monday. So I am showered and dressed. And real quick, let me show you. This is what I'm wearing right now, but this morning I did go to um, Pilates and I wore just the same thing over again, so I didn't cheer it, but I wore that again. But anyway, for the day, I am wearing Rouge Smoking. This is giving me all the Cherry Dr. Pepper <laughs> smells that I could ask for, y'all. This is gorgeous. I haven't worn it in a little bit. And the reason I decided to go for this today is because I was watching a video this morning and somebody mentioned, I was like, hmm, I might wear that today. But I also had other things in my head that I might wear, so when... I got ready to take my shower. I smelled all three things I was kind of thinking about wearing. And this one just called out to me and I am loving it. It's hot today, but I feel like this one is okay to wear in the heat. But I'm not really going to be outside. I'm going to be in the house. And um, yeah, I, I love this, y'all. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for today. Hey y'all, it's Monday night, just shower. And tonight I started out by applying this Pineapple Breeze body cream. I picked this up at a local vendor's market, but I'm pretty sure they sell these online. So I'll try to link it if I'm able to, but this smells delicious. This is actually my first time using it and it smells like fresh pineapple juice. It's not overly sweet. Like it doesn't smell synthetic. It smells like natural, fresh pineapple juice. It's delicious smelling. So I started out by applying this. Next, I went in and sprayed Blanche Bed. This is a milky vanilla scent that smells very creamy and lactonic. Also smells like there could be some coconut milk in here. It is delicious smelling, but it doesn't smell completely edible. It does have some floral notes in the background. So I applied this. And then on top, I applied Dolce & Gabbana Pineapple. Unfortunately, this is discontinued, but it smells like pineapple juice. It's very translucent, very sparkling, uplifting, happy, um, but it's not overly sweet. And it does, I feel like it has like a tiny bit of greenness to it. But yeah, I wanted to get like a pineapple ice cream type vibe. That's why I wanted to pair these two together. I've never paired them together before. And so far, so good. It's not quite giving me what I thought it would. <laughs> but I am liking it so far. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for tonight. Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. I'm getting ready to go to Pilates. So this morning I am wearing Amande by Prada. Um, this is a um, almond and iris scent. It gives me like almond laundry detergent vibes, y'all. So it's powdery, it's very clean smelling. And I just felt like smelling clean typical <laughs> i haven't worn this one in a while and i'm not really sure how i feel about it i used to love it but i don't know how i really feel about it anymore so this will be a good chance for me to kind of see if it needs to stay in my collection or what so yeah this is what i'm wearing for today hey y'all so i know y'all not used to seeing my fixes in these videos but it's still tuesday and i have a box so we will be unboxing this together so that's why you see my face so anyway 
I am getting ready to get ready to film. And so I really wanted to wear what's in this box today. So I figured why not unbox it for you all in this video. Okay, so I got the outer packaging open and look at this. This is from Dior and it came in this beautiful box right here. So I am super excited to open this up y'all. So look at this beautiful box. This is definitely gonna be a keeper box for me because it is solid. like. I guess it's cardboard, but it feels like it's lined in linen, y'all. This is so beautiful. I can't believe this. I didn't know it was coming in this type of box. So I am just as surprised as you. And before we open it up, I do need to let you know that this portion of the video is sponsored by Dior. Super excited about that. So thank you, Dior Beauty, for sending these products over to me. But I'm here to open this on camera with you all just to check it out and see what we have here. So this is a magnetic box, which is super nice as well. Now, one thing I do want to say is although this portion of the video is sponsored by Dior, the way it worked is that I actually went onto the Dior website and ordered this stuff myself. So I ordered like a normal consumer. So this is not special for me. This is just because of what I ordered. But look at this. You know, this is so nice. Dior always has the best packaging when it comes to their beauty stuff. Y'all know I have been loving Dior Privé fragrances for a while. I have quite a few of them and the packaging is always super nice. But this one is a step up y'all. It came with this very nice dust bag, which I will use. Don't know what for, but I will definitely use it. And then inside you have some wrapping paper and the Dior seal. And here are the gorgeous items inside. Love that. So I have three items in here that I ordered and then two free samples. So let's go ahead and start out with the non-fragrance and then we'll save the fragrance for last because I'm gonna spray that on for this video. So the first item and the reason that I'm filming this part with no makeup is a foundation. So this is the Forever Natural Nude Foundation from Dior. I really wanted to try this. There have been a couple of Dior foundations that I have loved in the past. So I figure I would try this one. That's what it looks like. I picked this up in the shade 5N five neutral so hopefully this fits me it's probably going to be more so my summer shade um, but I picked this up and I will be wearing this today uh, for my video so excited to play around with that the other thing is a super bougie item <laughs> but as soon as I saw this item I knew I wanted it so when I was reached out to I knew I had to get this item so this is the Le Balm and this is a hand cream but look at the packaging y'all look at that it is gorgeous stunning packaging so although the packaging is nice and beautiful i've heard the cream was amazing as well so i'm gonna try just a little bit on my hands not too much but it's absolutely gorgeous this is gonna be so nice to pop in a purse um, when i'm feeling extra oh yeah this feels really good smells good too but it's not overpowering which i like because i don't like my uh, hand creams to interact with the fragrances that I'm wearing. It's just a very fresh smell. So it feels really nice. It doesn't feel greasy. I think that's going to work out well for me. And then the fragrance. So this is Dior Riviera. This is a new release from Dior, one I have been really wanting to try. And this fragrance is one of the first fragrances that has been created by their new in-house perfumer, who is Francis Kirkjean, who is very famous. Uh, so I'm sure all of y'all have heard of him, but this is his creation. So I'm excited to open this and try it out. So this is going to be my scent of the day. That's why I'm showing y'all in this video. And let's try it for the first time together. So this comes in multiple sizes. I did pick it up in the smallest one, which is the 40 ml. And I actually really like this size because it's a nice size to try um, without buying like a sample or a decan or a travel spray. It's still a good amount. So I can't smell it. So we're just gonna go for the gusto, y'all. Okay, so I will say this fragrance is very fresh smelling. So I smell some greenness. I smell something that's very air-like. Like it smells like fresh, clean air. Almost like after it rains, that smell that's in the air, that's what it kind of smells like to me. I also smell a little bit of mintiness to this fragrance and something floral. It's a little bit sweet from the floral, but I definitely would not call this a sweet fragrance. So, so far I am really liking this. It is pretty fresh and green and very 
very nice i think for hot weather i don't know how this would go in the cold but for hot weather i think this could be really good especially on super hot days if you're going to be outdoors it's very classy smelling and i definitely think it's unisex but i kind of think it leans a little feminine the florals in here are are sweet i believe it's rose but it smells really good y'all smells very good reminds me of a garden but not headache inducing, which is the problem that I have with some floral scents. This all smells very smooth and very round. So yeah, I am excited to be wearing this and this is what I am wearing for this Tuesday. Hey y'all, it's Tuesday night and tonight I started out by applying Cherry Almond. This is from the Tipsy Goat Soap Company. This is a body butter and it smells like Cherry Almond. It's very decadent smelling very highly fragrant so i started out by applying this and then my fragrance for tonight is the queen of all cherries lost cherry by tom ford it's been probably about a month since i wore this so i decided to go ahead and pull this out tonight just feeling very delicious so <laughs> decided to pull this out y'all know this is one of my favorite fragrances i don't wear it as much as i used to just because i have a bigger collection and you know new things i try out but she's still a love for me even though I really don't talk about her, I kind of feel like she doesn't need to be talked about because, you know, y'all know the people have been around. Y'all know my love is real for this one. <laughs> so anyway, this is what I'm wearing for tonight. Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. So clearly I ran out of time this morning. I have time to do this at home. So I'm in my car. But the fragrance I am wearing today is Santal Don Shah from Armani Privé. This is actually my first time wearing this fragrance. It is a sandalwood scent that also has some additional spices in there. Um, but yeah, I picked this because it is a new fragrance to me. I just uh, hauled it in my last video. So I wanted to go ahead and get a chance to wear it. And so far, so good. I am really enjoying it. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for today. Hey all, it's Wednesday night. And tonight I started out by applying this ginger and bergamot oil. This is by Brooklyn Dream. This item was gifted to me, but I am not required to talk about it. But I'm using it tonight. It smells like ginger and bergamot and like a slight bit musky in my opinion. I really like it. I think it'll go well with a lot of citrus fragrances. This is my first time using it though. So I started out by applying this. And then my fragrance for tonight is <clears throat> Place This Lise Vanille. This is a fluffy lemony vanilla that I absolutely love, especially for bedtime. It is soft, but it's warm and inviting. And I just really enjoy it. It's very comforting and cozy without feeling heavy it has this airy effect to it so yeah um this is what i am wearing for tonight good morning y'all happy thursday so today i am starting out by applying this coconut milk body lotion from quail nera i don't know if i mentioned this in this video already but it's like a milky coconut not too heavily scented but scented enough and moisturizing so i start out by applying this and then my fragrance for today is from simone andrioli and this is Leisure in Paradise. So I do have a video where I kind of talk more about this, but I have been letting this sit like you all have been telling me to do. So I've let it sit for probably like a month without wearing it. And so I want to wear it today and see if I get better performance, but I do love the way this smells. It is a kind of milky coconut and fruity scent. It's beautiful, y'all. Um, so yeah, I am wearing this today. And I picked this because I wanted to wear something fun, but I didn't want anything like too, too heavy because this afternoon I do have Pilates. So hopefully it would have like died down by the time I go to Pilates. I'm sure it will. So yeah, this is what I am wearing for today. Hey y'all, it's Thursday night. This is my last fragrance for this week. And tonight I'm wearing Spiritualise Duble Vanille. This is a standard vanilla that's done amazingly well and i really just wanted to wear something really good tonight but i wanted something cozy it's storming so i knew i wanted this wanted something kind of cozy but something i don't wear like all the time so i reached for this and so far so good so i had a really good fragrance week if i do say so myself <laughs> I do have three standouts to share with you and these will be in no particular order, but the first one is Passe Soir from BDK. So this is a beautiful, like juicy, sweet and spicy scent. And the ginger is just magnificent in here. And I think the reason this is a standout is because when I wore it, I just felt like I smelled so good, like so good, so unique. And I think it was because I paired it with that ginger body lotion. I don't think I've ever paired it with a ginger lotion before. I paired it with other like 
fruity lotions or unscented lotions, but I don't think I've paired it with ginger before. So pairing it with the ginger just really brought out the ginger note and y'all know I'm a lover of ginger. So I really enjoy wearing this and it really makes me want to grab for it more. So again, that is Passe Soir from BDK. The next standout is Amande from Prada. And this one is actually a standout for a bad reason, which I hate when that happens, but it's not that this fragrance is bad. I wore it and I just was underwhelmed, y'all. I've had this for a couple years. I used to really love it, but I think I've just fallen out of love with it. I don't find it to be special to me anymore. I still think it's beautiful. I just think that I have other fragrances that I would prefer to wear over this that are similar. So for instance, I have Tardes from Carner Barcelona that I feel like is similar to this, but I like it more. So if I wanna go for one of these type fragrances, I would rather wear Tardes. So I'm done trying to make myself Keep this and it's actually listed on my Mercari right now I'm decluttering it so yeah bye bye you serve me well I used to love this fragrance y'all but it's just I think our time is up unfortunately so again that is Prada Amand and then the last standout fragrance is Santal Don Shaw from Armani Privé. Now the reason this one is a standout is because I recently featured this on a haul and I basically said I was a little bit underwhelmed with it, like it smells so simple. And even smelling it now, it just smells like sandalwood, right? But when I got this on my skin, it became magical. The sandalwood, smelling it, it already smells pretty smooth. But spraying it on the skin, when it melded with my skin chemistry, the sandalwood became even more smooth. I started to get those spices coming out. I got a little tiny bit of sweetness. Wouldn't call it a sweet fragrance, but I got a tiny bit of sweetness, a tiny bit of creaminess, and... I was just loving it, y'all. Now, this is an eau de toilette, so it doesn't last all day, but I'm okay with that. It was doing what it was supposed to be doing, y'all. I really enjoyed wearing this, and I'm glad that I gave it a try on my skin and didn't just smell out of the bottle, because if I smelled this in store, I probably would have passed by it. But the fact that I sprayed this on, this on my skin, I was really able to experience this fragrance in the way that it's meant to be experienced, and I absolutely love it so far. I've only worn it the one time, but I'm really happy to have this in my collection. So those were my three standout fragrances for this week. Let me know if you have tried any of the fragrances that I mentioned in this video. Also, let me know what was your one standout fragrance that you have worn over the past week. We can talk about that in the comments down below like we always do. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I typically upload videos three times a week, so I have tons of content that you can check out in your free time. Also, if you haven't checked out my website do that now is www.simplyaisha.com over there i talk about fragrance and other things that i enjoy also if you want to connect with me more follow me over on instagram i'm typically in my stories almost every day and i love to chat with y'all in my dms i hope you all enjoy this video as much as i enjoyed making it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye, bye. i can't see you get back here <laughs> say bye